Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to enable basic authentication in Cycle 9.2 and the IIS 10 in Windows 10. Basically, when you are hosting any Cycle website in the IIS with a public domain over the internet, and then you want to share that domain to the client. But you want to do some limitation to just allow some specific version can accept it to the website. So you can do some the configuration in the IIS to enable basic authentication to limit for the accessing. In this video today, I will guide you step by step on how to do it. Uh, we have performed three steps. The first one, you have to install the authentication in the IIS server. The second one, you need to create a new account for basic login. And the last step, you have to update some of the configuration in Sitecore. Okay, so for now, let's do it step by step. And here, you open the control panel. Go to programs. Go to turn window feature on or off in the programs and feature. It will open up other window. Open this one bigger. And you go to the Internet Information Services folder. Open it. And you see here on my Windows PC, I already enable everything inside this folder. You go to the World Wide Web service. And you go to security. You have to make sure you already enable basic authentication option in the security folder. And then click on OK button. Yeah. I'm assuming you already enable this one. After you enable this one, you go to the Internet Information Services, and you can see we have the authentication option in the IIS section. Okay, close this one. And the second step, you have to create a new account for basic login. You go to, you type in the computer management. It will open the computer management window. In the left-hand side, you click on local users and group. Select the users. And here, this is the own user on the Windows PC. You right-click on it and select the news user. You enter the news username. Here, I will enter the text and the password. You disable some of the options below because I just want to keep the username and the password. Okay. Create, close it, and you see here the test account has been created. Okay, close this one. And next step, step number three, here. Before we perform this action, so I will open the website. This is the website for the CD, and this is CM for the site call. Yeah. By default, here you can see after I refresh this page, so we can access into the website, or even if I open it in the incognito mode, we still access into the website. That means if for now anyone in the anonymous user can see this URL, they can access into the website. Okay, so here open the IIS, and this is the website, and go to the authentication mode. It will open the authentication mode here. You can see we have some of the option. Basically, the anonymous authentication mode has been enabled by default. For now, we have to disable this one. You can right click on it or select this one and click on the action on the right hand side. Disable it. Yeah. So now for the basic authentication, you should enable this one. Enable it. Okay. And then back to the website. Refresh this one. Yeah, you see here, we cannot access into the website anymore. But you see, we got the error message is not found and the query string here is very long. Yeah. But you know, because we already enabled the basic authentication mode in the IIS and we expect things that it will open another pop-up to allow the user enter the username and password in order to access the website. But here, we got the error message in this. 
That means we have to do some d e c o n f i g u r a t i o n in the step number three. Yeah. So here, go to the website folder and open the web config. Back to the PowerPoint, and then I will copy this one. By default, the identity server in s i c o r will be enabled. So we do some the configuration here to disable the identity server. Okay. Back to the notepad, blur, blur, and we add this one into the application key below this one. We disable automatic app startup setting up. Okay, and then the second step: open the app config, include examples, and here we here s i c o r dot o w i n By default, it be already disabled. I will copy it. Copy, and then we delete. You have to make sure you already enable some the extension view. Okay, we go to view, file name extension. Yeah. Okay. And here for this one, I will delete the extension example. Yeah. Yes. And the same thing for this a b l e r Okay, it is already enabled for the s i c o r o t o w i n t h e n t i c a t i o n o t i s a b l e a b l e r config. And the second one is the o t identity server o t i s a b l e r o t config. Okay, so now back to the website. I will copy the URL here. Open it in a new tab. Enter. It seems the configuration it does not work for now, so we have to back to the Internet Information Services. I want to reset the IIS for this website. Restart. Yeah. Okay. So you see here, we can see the pop-up. In this of seeing the error message for the query string is too long, you have to enter the username and password. We created in the second step. That, yeah, sign in. Okay. After you provide the username and password, you can see the content of this website. I will open it in the i c o n i t o mode. Yeah. If I enter the incorrect username and password, so let's see what happen. Yeah, you cannot accept. Or uh, if you click on cancel button, so here you will see the unauthorized p a g e You don't have the permission to read the content. Okay, cool. Refresh this one. Yeah, you can see the web page for now. You can do the same thing by a c c e s s into the CM. Yeah, and even open this in the i c o n i t o mode. Yeah, you have to provide the username and password. Okay, okay, all right. So I think that's all for today. After you finish this video, you know how to enable the basic authentication for the s i c o r 9.2 in the iOS 10 on Windows 10. Uh, basically, we have to perform three steps. The first one: install the basic authentication and security for the iOS server. The second one: you have to create a new account for basic login. And the last one: you have to update some the configuration in the s i c o r To disable the identity server. Okay, I hope this video will helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you guys in the next video.